Hello everyone. My name is Chinmay Zado. I am from D.Y. Patel Institute of Engineering Management and Research, Akurdi. I am here to present my seminar topic that is Adaptive Cruise Control System. Every day in news we get to heard about number of car accidents from all over the world. According to a report, about 3,700 people got killed in the road accident globally in just 24 hours, which is horrible. The concept of an adaptive cruise control system that is ACC is assisting the driver in longitudinal vehicle control to avoid the collision in between vehicles. The working principle of an ACC is not very complex and radar system is used as an input data control which is mounted at the front of the vehicle. This radar scans the road ahead of the vehicle and calculates the distance and speed of the vehicle ahead of the car. Using this data, the controller controls the brakes and the throttle controller to keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead. If the road ahead is clear, then the vehicle runs at a pre-specified speed which is usually 40 to 80 km per hour. The sensor options used in ACC for an object detection are radar uh, that is radio detection and ranging, lidar that is light detection and ranging, vision sensor which uses camera, ultrasonic sensor that uses ultrasonic sound for detection of objects. A lidar that is light detection and ranging sensor which is used in very first ACC system from Toyota. LIDAR uses pulse sensor beams which is reflected back from the object to determine the distance from the object. The time between the two laser beams reflected used to calculate the velocity of the object. A radar that is radio detection and ranging sensor uh, is used. Uh, this sensor works exactly the same way like LIDAR. The main difference is it uses electromagnetic waves instead of the laser beams as it is more accurate and efficient. The antenna used to transmit the waves can be steered either mechanically or electronically. And pulse Doppler radar, uh, radar system is a radar which uses pulse timing technique and uses Doppler effect of return signal to determine the target object's velocity. It combines the feature of pulse Doppler radar and continuous wave radar. A Doppler effect is a change in frequency of a wave in relation to the observer who is moving relative to wave source. It is used to determine the velocity of surrounding vehicle. Uh, now, the fusion sensor introduced by the Fujitsu 10 Limited and Honda in this system, the radar system is assisted by a stereo camera with 40 degree viewing angle. These two devices fuse together to detect the obstacles. Uh, now, the controller is the next device in the ACC system. It takes the input from the sensor which gives the traffic situation information to it. According to that information, controller controls the brakes throttle of the car. The controller uh, the car can be of two types. If no vehicle ahead, then speed control is used and headway control is used to keep safe distance between two vehicles if there is a vehicle ahead. Now, the good example of an adaptive cruise control system is the ACC, Motorola ACC system in which radar camera and IR sensor gives input information to MGT5200 controller. The wheel speed information is collected by the HC12 module. Using all the gathered information, the MPC565 module actuates the throttle and the HC12 controls the braking actuator. Now. An update to the ACC system is the CACC that is Cooperative Adaptive Cruise Control System. CACC allows the lead and the following vehicle to communicate and exchange surrounding information to work cooperatively to maintain ship speed and distance in between each other. The vehicles currently available in market with ACC are Kia Seltos, Viterra Brisa, Tata Herian and Tata Nexon, Hyundai Creta, Honda City and Honda Accord. Audi A and Q series, BMW 5 and 7 series, Lexus IS 460, Volkswagen Polo GT and Jetta, uh, Dodge Challenger and Dodge Charger, Jeep Wrangler, Toyota Land Cruiser and many more. The advantages of this system are the driver is relieved from the task of careful acceleration, deacceleration and braking in congested traffic. A highly responsive traffic system that adjusts itself to avoid accident can be developed. Since the braking and the acceleration are done in systematic way, the fuel efficiency of the vehicle is increased. Now, as there are pros, there are cons. There are cons too. A cheap version is not realized. A high market penetration is required if a society of intelligent vehicle is to be formed. 
encourages it encourages the driver to become careless it can lead to severe accident if the system malfunctions the acc system yet involved an uh, yet involved enable vehicle to cooperate with other vehicles and hence do not respond directly to the traffic signal so the driver has to take the controls if he if there there are traffic signals in the way now the conclusion of the seminar is the accident caused by the automobile injure lakhs of people every year the safety measures starting from the airbags and seat belts now has reached to acc and cacc systems the researchers of intelligent vehicle initiative in usa and the Artico program of Europe are working on technologies that may ultimately lead to vehicles that are wrapped in a cocoon of sensor with a 360 degree view of their surrounding the next advancement of this acc system is now getting rise and that is the autopilot system uh, by the companies like tesla and google thank you so much